I'm going to show you how you can embed a gallery of your table records on your website. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So this is actually the record embedded into this website right here. So this is the tool that you would see on your website if you were to use this. And as you can see, there's a nice cover image, a title. You can get a, an editing options if you'd like. This is optional. And the gallery actually really fits nicely into the website, scales with it. If I shrink this website, you can see that it automatically resizes, readjusts, etc. So it's very responsive. And I'll show you how the editing experience looks like. The both the gallery and the editing experience has full support for all of the Airtable field types. So it's very um, nice for editing. So let's say, for example, I click on surfing here, and then I click save. As you'll see, is as soon as I'm taken back. I'll see that this is actually pretty much immediately updated. So all of this editing is super live. This immediately got updated in Airtable, and it's just that simple. So I'll show you how you would set this up now. Start by filling up your API key, follow the blue URL to find that, and then choose your base, and then choose your table. Then you'll choose the view that controls what records are shown. So this both controls the filtering of the records plus the sorting. So you know what shows first, second, etc. So in my case, I'll just choose the main view here, and then I'll choose the field to display. I can choose whatever fields I want. So let's say in my case, I want to do description, and I want to do type, and I want to do you know unit cost, and then maybe this field right here, and you know you can choose whatever fields you'd like really, and then then I'll choose the card title. This is what you saw here. This card title, the bold thing. In my case, I'll choose name. And then I'll choose that card cover image that you saw earlier. And then after that, we'll choose whether or not we want our users to edit. So if you don't want your users to be able to edit these, you can just skip this. If you do want your users to edit this, you can switch this on, and then you can choose exactly what they can edit. And this doesn't have to be the same fields that they are seeing in the gallery. This can be a, a different subset or the same or all of the fields, totally up to you. So let's say I just want them to be able to edit the name. I can just select that and I can go ahead and click save here. Now, if I wanted to embed this on my website, I would click on this and then copy this iframe code and put it on my website. For this demo, I'm just gonna show you what it would look like if you were to just use the gallery hosted on our website. So in my case, the gallery looks like this. It scales nicely and it sort of shows as that grid style that people are used to. And then if I wanted to edit this, I can click edit. And then I can, let's say, change this name and add a four in here and click save. And then as soon as I go back, I'll see that it immediately got updated 